<laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. Why, oh, hey there. This is Single File Line, episode five. Five? I think five, it's five. five. <laughs> I just oh, thought of that while you were doing that. Cinco. No is it five? All right. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. It's been five weeks, over a month. Going solid. You know, we we decided we record these on Friday nights. It hasn't now, worked out at all so far. Now we've recorded more on Thursday nights. Than we have. <laughs> yeah. We also decided on nine p.m. Eastern. It's always starts after ten p.m. So. Yeah. But hey, we're getting it done. Yeah, yeah. We're getting it done early, man. <laughs> Whatever, yeah. So, so I was gonna move into the music, but Nick, you told me that you wanted to do something before music. So, yeah, yeah, yeah I got you. All right. So, everyone who has been watching your videos on your channel will probably want My to channel. know what I'm talking about here. Yes, your channel. Yeah. Um. So basically, you talked about like kind of not caring as much about your upload streak and stuff lately, and just want it, like not being as happy doing what you've been doing. What have you been doing this week? That has been making you happy. Not playing video <laughs> games. That is the main thing. I'm really? playing uh, Fortnite on stream. That's it. Um, other than that, I'm playing literally nothing else. And I'm doing. I'm, I'm jumping at every chance I get to go do anything anywhere ever. Um, so what have you done? Uh, like, dude, I'll... I went to church. <laughs> I, like that what? was that was one thing I did on Easter. I, they were like, my grandma and my mom were like, you want to go to church? I was like. You know what? Sure. <laughs> like, why like, not? Like, why not? You know, I've just been doing things. I went and bought me some new clothes and, and some new shoes and shit. You know, I've just been shopping. Um, okay. You know, I like to go get food because that's just an easy Great. excuse to go anywhere. And, and, and skating. Yep. I've been skating mostly, probably more than anything. So, so. Um, but I kind of figured you might have gone skating a few times at least. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's, 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 cool, that's basically it. anything. I mean, I have been home, but like, I don't know, not video games. Mm -hmm. Video games make me an angry person. I don't play <laughs> Dude, I feel games. you. I'm That's scared. why I had to put COD down. I mean, I yeah. like video games, but it, like, uh, I don't want it to like, I can't revolve around video games right now, all right? I just don't want to. That's yeah. why we play RuneScape, the least frustrating, most relaxing game you can play. Yeah, but I still haven't even been playing that either. Um, I just haven't been playing anything. Just just Fortnite when I stream, and I haven't <clears> even, <throat> sometimes I don't even hit the two-hour mark. Dude! So continuing this topic a little bit, I don't know, not at all. You had a great stream tonight, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, let's uh, talk about it. My stream tonight? <laughs> Dude, yeah. honestly, I was playing pretty decent tonight, though. Um, uh, that was, that was. I mean, I was consistent tonight. I mean, I don't think that had anything to do with the amount of viewers I had. I had, like, a couple <laughs> times where it said, you're getting hosted by someone, and I've been hosted before, and it's always three viewers and two viewers, you know, whatever. Um, I haven't seen anything over 10 viewers that, that I've been hosted. And I think it's just part of the Twitch host program thing. It just automatically picks small streamers when you're a small streamer. You know what I mean? Um, just somebody in the same realm as you, uh, yeah. followers-wise. I would I think that's how it works. Um, but, like, I got the message twice earlier that I was being hosted. But, again, it was only for, like, three people. And later on, I think it was just some sort of raid, dude. I don't know where it came from. Um, but later on, like, I... I like, I average, like, three or four viewers, I guess. And, like, every once in a while, somebody will pop into the chat and just say, like, what's up? But, like, they, they've, they've been there before, you know? So I know. And I don't really miss a lot of my messages. So I don't pay attention to it 24-7, especially when I'm in the middle of a game. So then mm -hmm. I look up and I see just, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy <laughs> birthday. I was like, what the fuck? It's not my birthday. And they're like, oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, like, everybody's well, saying happy, happy birthday anyway. So, so that's why I'm saying, like... It's probably some sort of raid, you know, I don't know. Um, but, huh. like, Sounds I peaked cool. at 50. They were, that's the highest number that I saw was 50. Um, but Still, that's a big 5-0. It, uh, it, it, um, it rounded out to about, like, 33 average for, like, the past half hour, I guess, um, for the rest of the stream. Pretty so fun. And it was, like, there was just a point where it's just, <clears> like, <throat> I was muted, like, the whole game. I think we that was my worst game all night. I had one kill. We died at shifty. And, and I was just, it was just the point where I was just like muted the whole game, just like reading followers and shit, um, which is, I don't know, dude. I, I don't know, man. I, I like the, t I like Twitch better than YouTube right now. I can say that. Um, I can definitely say I feel that. that. <clears throat> One thing I wanted to touch on real quick, going back to uh, not playing video games lately, like I've kind of been in the same realm. If you guys haven't noticed, like my Fortnite challenges have not been getting done and mm -hmm. all that. 
Um, Rocket League, I've been playing more than anything, but I still haven't really put that many hours into that. But I've actually been reading a book this week. Oh, fuck. Books, <laughs> yeah. man. Books. It, it, it's a book called, like, Bullshit, like, How to Debunk, like, Bogus Theories and Whack Science and all that. It's a long title, but, like, along those lines. And I'm, like, three chapters in. That's, like, more you're, chapters you're gonna, than I've read. You're going to wrap that book and seal it up and then ship it to Dakota's house after you <laughs> nah, dude. And I will burn it in the fireplace. <laughs> yeah, I spent money on that book. If I got it for free, I'd be happy to. <laughs> I bought it three years ago, and I never opened it until Sunday night. <laughs> well, dude. but it's actually pretty, pretty interesting. At least you're reading better than I can say. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, watch movies. It feels I weird. Don't, I don't read books, sure. bro. I like movies. Um, if I want to figure something out, I'm just gonna watch the movie. If they didn't make a movie, then it's not important enough for me to know. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, Makes man. Sense. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's that's what you wanted to touch on, though absolutely man okay i can dig it so you want to go into the music then yeah man yeah all right sure. nick i'm gonna have you start it off which you want me to start off <laughs> um start with song? lane's song there you go yeah, thank you okay displacement lane's song it was what was it it was displacement by touche amori amore mm -hmm. close enough you, you know justin from, from, right like, big justin just yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah he was uh he was a big fan of this band I thought you were about to say he was in this band. Yeah, he was, man. <laughs> Screw it. He was. He was. He was. No, that's dope. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right, so my thoughts on that song real quick. And I actually wrote notes down this time, boys. Oh, shit. Come I'm prepared. prepared this week. Um, all right, so. I'm not. Lyrics were touching. It was a song about. Wait, let me make sure I'm not mixing up with Dakotas. It's about right, so cancer, it's about cancer, right? Right? Yeah. 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 So. The, yeah, I thought the lyrics were super touching. I thought the vocals on the song were kind of meh. Um, it wasn't like my style of rock or anything like that, but I can appreciate like the sentiment of the song and respect anyone who likes it because it's not like the worst thing I've ever heard, you know. Um, definitely not like the worst song on this podcast so far. I'll take it. Um. um I like to... I like the line by the way about like not being able to worship the god that let her fall apart. That was probably my favorite line. Yeah, um, there's a few like really strong, hard hitting points in that song. Yeah, and I mean me being like not a religious person at all, that that line just kind of resonated with me a little bit. Right. But uh, yeah, that's that's my thoughts. It was okay. It was, it was okay. a good song, dude. I mean, it, it was it's a good song, just not for me. I, I what I mean I don't know. I I didn't listen to it a ton, but it, it was it's like. Re like conflict like religious conflict basically yeah 100 yeah. percent. like um, he 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 he's conflicted kind of someone he knows died of cancer right and she was super religious someone close to him and he wants to believe that she's up in heaven um even if that's not necessarily what he believes and if right. that makes sense uh that's mm -hmm. what i got out of it i mean it's 100 percent yeah. what the struggle it's written around is is about yeah yeah yeah. Not an easy thing to go through, and it's a well written the song. And yeah, his vocals are a little different. Like I said last episode, it's more of a raspy yell than a scream. But uh, I really, really like that band. They're part of like the they call themselves the quote unquote new wave of hardcore music, and they write more introspective shit and less drop D power chord. Like, I've heard a lot of them from <laughs> like, <laughs> breakdowns. I don't know. <laughs> it's just kind of cool to to see their style of music. I can mm -hmm. dig it. I can dig it. So I guess we can move on to Nick's song, right? With this uh, upside down exclamation point. What are those called, by the way? Just a little oh, off topic. God. Right now. Put us all called? on the spot. I don't fucking remember. All right, I have no clue. I've I taken mean, enough Spanish. I should know what they're called. I fail Spanish, I so it's yeah, it's understandable that I don't know what they're called. Lane, any any input? Just as far as thoughts, I have no fucking clue what those are. Called. <laughs> I I thought French, dude. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I couldn't tell you shit about French either, so don't ask me anything. About I will that, say I that this song, this song, this song was was. I'm trying to think what all songs we. This is probably my favorite rap song. This is my favorite song you've shared on this podcast. Yeah, I'm trying to think everything that you've shared. You did the X song, but the X song man, that? The only one that comes close is that Dizzy song. I think. Oh yeah, you did do the Dizzy. Oh really? Song. I like this better. I like this. What better. about the Token I song? Too. Oh, I forgot I just, about the token song, yeah. 
I like yeah. this best. I think I like this best. I just like the the sound of it, dude. I don't know. I mean, yeah. um, it's easy to vibe to. I mean, it's mm-hmm. nothing deep. It's just a yeah. Smoke like song. meaning but meaning it's wise. So easy to the car you put it on it's like i, I get that song it's a fun song mm-hmm. he's a really uh, pretty unique voice he hits notes without auto well it's multiple it, of them it is a group and they're they're it's good feel good like dude it. it's just feel good music to me I feel. yeah yeah, yeah. Feel good. that's the best good. way to describe it um so like it, it lyrically it's not as deep as say like token song i guess but um right yeah. it, I, I guess not it's um it's not meant to be deep, though. Right? I know, like, I know. It's, it's, just, kinda... it's, it's just feel-good yeah. music. That's, yeah. that's what you I know, got. And it accomplished that. Accomplished it well. I, I, I it's probably. I think it's my favorite yeah. song that you've that you've thrown out there. I can't lie. Yeah. Um, so it's probably my favorite one I've suggested too. So I'm I'm happy to hear that. Um, yeah, I mean, this one now that I've now that you've reminded me of all the ones that you've said, uh, mm-hmm. the only one I didn't I like re- was the X song. The- so. This is one I can't remember that I did week two. I think it was. No, it was a token song. Token was week two. Yeah, because we didn't stay. We didn't have songs for the first episode. Oh, that's five. right. Okay. Go, yeah, that's true. Um, or okay. did we? I don't that's know. I can't I remember, bro. But anyway, no, 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 you're right. You're right. We have one more song. My song, second is Sebring. Yes. Of mice and men. I like the song, dude. Wonderful. Playing rock paper scissors. Oh. Classic song. Oh my god, are we actually doing this? Shoot, Let's okay? Go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yeah. No, 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 bro. It's fucking Rochambeau. <laughs> Get out of here. Bro, I don't want to hear it, dude. We I come shoot from a skate park here, background. We shoot it, though. All right, ready? Three, yeah. two, one. Rock, rock paper, scissors, scissors, shoot. This is the biggest god bullshit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> rock, rock. Paper, scissors, scissors, shoot. See how complicated that is? You can just go Rochambeau. What is that? I'm well, so, Lane's going so hella slow, too. Like, okay. Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. shoot. You saw I hate you. All right. I'll, I'll go first. Okay. <laughs> so, I love that song. Growing up, I saw Of Mice and Men live, and I heard that song live. I still have my Of Mice and Men shirt from that Van Dorp tour. Like, fucking great... A uh, band, definitely my favorite album by them. They're self-titled. It was great. I never, I guess, I was kind of young and I was just trying to watch or whatever the fuck. And I never really looked up the lyrics or like gave it much thought. I just knew it was a great sounding song, one of my favorites by them. And with this, I just actually finally looked up the lyrics, and I had no clue the depth that he went into to give a good sentiment to his now passed away mother. Second and Sebring is literally the intersection they lived on mm-hmm. when they were growing up. Like, that's a shout out to his hometown. And this entire song is talking about how, you know, his mom always helped him be who he was and be the best version of him and how, he'll, how he hopes she'll always be by his side. And that, I don't know, it's just a really good sentiment to his mom. And I never realized that part of it on top of it being like a good sonically song dude screams are insane i get from like he's uh he's moving on and doing what what she yeah. would want him to do you know? yeah that, i mean trying to make her proud right is mm-hmm. what he talks about. he's like he's done grieving and he just wants to make her proud because he knows that she's watching yeah. him kind of thing right like, yep i mean ah shit i mean you guys kind of took a couple things i was gonna say to be honest but uh i'll start with the worst and kind of go up from there um so screaming wise i would say and this is kind of a compliment actually coming from me but the screaming is bearable enough to for me to not despise it for the screaming so like i actually didn't mind the screaming too much screams are awesome yeah awesome is, awesome is really really I, I wouldn't say awesome but i mean they, they were tolerable for me um I, I really enjoyed it actually um if i was making a hard playlist like that like if i threw a bunch of a day to remember together i would probably include that song i thought it was really good i thought the lyrics were uh pretty powerful touching um again another song about cancer which sucks uh he lost his I mom it, at what 17 that's what i, I thought so. of it was something i thought it was something and else, I, I just assumed it was i know cancer. she died but, like, their song in the rap genius a moment ago yeah, it said something specific, but I just assumed it was cancer. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll tell you what it is. Seems like we're all about cancer. I'm, yeah, I'm, my I'm song right. last week is titled "Cancer." Marfan syndrome is what it is. Is that not cancer? 
a genetic disorder that affects the body's connective tissues. Okay. So I guess not now. Mm-hmm. But okay, yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah I, guess so, not. I actually like it. Yeah, it, yeah. I, it's yeah. it's it's solid song. In, yeah. in my opinion, one definitely. I think one of I my have favorites. heard it before. Because, um, like I said in the last episode, um, he, uh, I've, I've listened to that album before. With with what Lane said, bro, I mean, I can't go past it. Like, Austin was super talented with his screams, bro. He's so that, good. And live, too, best. it's the same. Yeah. Like, it's really not much different uh, from album to, like, live. Uh, he was really... Yeah. I miss him, dude. Yeah. I wish I could see him again. I'm glad I got to. Um, but uh, he's got some, like, heart problems, so he had to, he had to, he had to call it quits. But, yeah, that's that's... We can move on to our songs for for this week if you guys would like. Sure. I'm down. Sure. Um, anybody want to go first? I got mine if you guys are still thinking. I can throw I'm something not... out anytime. Dakota, go first. There you go. <laughs> on the spot. <laughs> yeah. A Forbidden Dance. Alisana. Okay. I don't I don't know much of Alisana's music, but I like Alisana. <laughs> A Forbidden Dance by Alisana. Cool. I've been listening to a lot of Alessandro lately. I've I've been a fan of him for years, Good. but um, I don't know. I've just I been be a bigger fan. I've just been digging <clears throat> him lately. I like the vibe. The song. It's a good song. Um, Nick, you're up. Yeah. All right. This week I gotta go with my uh, favorite rapper of all time. Favorite rapper of all time. I'm gonna go with that. <clears throat> Tech Nine. Who do I catch? This is the name I... of the song. Um. This is another one where I just like his flow in it, and I really like... He's got some good lines lines and good rhymes in it, so I think it's just a cool song. Cool. Yeah, that's my song. Right. It's nothing... Cool. Like, there's no, like, you know, it's not, like, a a deep or, like, I a, mean, yeah, a concept I, song. Yeah, but... A Forbidden Dance isn't really either. It just... It sounds okay. cool. It's got trumpets and everything, and it's, like, mixed awesome. with, like a, like, a rock, like, metal kind of sound. It's yeah. just a really unique, cool song. It's, I don't know. That's why I picked it, but... All right. Lane? My song is probably by one of my... One of my favorite rappers of all time. Uh, the man MF Doom himself. But it's a song that a lot of people might not know about, and you're gonna have to bear with me here for a sec. Because the version I want you to listen to is by a group called GG Doom. And the song is called uh, Genie in a Bottle. GG uh, was Grip Grand. Uh, he's a producer and he made a great beat over an MF Doom verse. And it's so much sonically better. You'll enjoy it much more. But the lyrics are actually fantastic as well. It's a full double entendre uh, throughout the entire song. The original song that this verse was taken from was a MF Doom song that he produced himself. He's not the best producer all the time. Great rapper, not the best producer all the time. Okay. He's okay at times. You're not wrong. But yeah. Meh. Yeah, uh, I know what you mean. <laughs> he does a lot of beat tapes. People will argue with me all day on me saying he's not a good producer. He's obviously a talented producer, but mm. eh, not, the, not the best. Not the best. Not the best all the time. <laughs> He made a song, though, called My Favorite Ladies, and it's a double entendre between ladies and drugs, and there's a lot of really funny references and stuff you'll find along the way, and it's a great, enjoyable listen. Original beat on My Favorite Ladies wasn't my fave, but if you listen to the GG Doom, Genie in a Bottle, it's great. It's hard to find. You won't find it on many streaming services, if any, but YouTube it, and it'll pop just, up. Yeah, I'm just you might have to just throw me a link at some point. I got you. <laughs> in <laughs> Discord. <laughs> GG Doom. So I listen to the right thing. Song. Just DM me a link. All right. But yeah, it. yeah. Okay, I got it written down. So yeah, right. we got our songs out of the way. Um, Dropping some doom in this bitch. Very, uh, yeah. very beautiful. All right, so we'll, uh, we'll listen to them for, for this week, and then we can move on. And do that next week. So, so Nick, did you have any topics you wanted to talk about? Because uh, you're obviously writing some notes, dude. <laughs> I literally just closed my notes. <laughs> I mean, dude, I'm I, whatever. All right, all right, all right, all right. So I got a little bit of a short, short, very short story to tell. Um, it was kind of terrifying, but this happened to me on Tuesday night after class. Um, so I was walking Alyssa to her car, and after I. After she got in her car and I walked away, it was very dark outside. <laughs> um, not because it was nighttime, even though it was getting close. Like, you could still see light shining through the clouds of uh, 
it, it was a storm, like a big ass storm coming through. Mm-hmm. And uh, basically, I'm walking about a block away from her car, maybe not even, and I'm about three, four blocks away from my car. And uh, I, I basically almost get struck by lightning. How close? Uh, like, like how straight close up? Was that it? shit was less than a mile from me. Cause I I saw it right in front of me, like not like on the street I was on, but I saw it like big as fuck right in front of me. Um, Pretty close. I felt it. I felt it, yeah. and I heard the clap of the thunder like not even a half a second later. Like it was right fucking there. I know that. And feeling. I was I was fucking shook. I know that feeling. Uh, when I was um, when that's I was the closest in, I've ever been to lightning. When and I was, was in cool, middle school, but... dude. Um, <laughs> you know, you remember my old house, Nick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had trees yeah. in the backyard right there. Yeah. So, okay, so when I was in middle school, I was with my friends Josh and Chase, and we were playing mm-hmm. Modern Warfare 2, you know? Hey. Obviously. <laughs> and we were playing in the game room. Do you remember the game room where it had the pool table? So yeah, we yeah. were playing on that TV, right? It was storming outside. We were playing Modern okay. Warfare 2. I think Josh was the one playing. He got a nuke, all right? And as he, <laughs> he got this nuke, he called in the nuke, and as the nuke, like, came in, you know how it makes the whole screen white? Boom. Lightning strikes a tree. And in my backyard, whole white flash outside as the nuke goes off in game, bro. What? Giant white, like it was. I like for a second we thought we were actually going to die. <laughs> like this is that, like that, eighth no. grade. Um, yeah, Damn, dude. Literally, yeah. we had the tree cut out, but right there in the backyard. Like I mean, oh, shit. damn, thirty feet. You know how loud is that shit? When it's it's loud, that dude. It right? is loud, and it was just like perfect timing with the nuke going off at the right time it was on invasion i remember that perfectly dude um that yeah, I, yeah. and i remember a squirrel being fried on the ground and when we walked up to it it just got up and ran away. my dude like, like that man just got struck by lightning or that squirrel just got struck by lightning he's and, good and he's he's solid he's fine <laughs> man he's he's a superhero now somewhere in some other country but yeah, yeah squirrel man but yeah. yeah that reminded me of that it's loud, that's, dude. It is. I have no like. I can see stories. that being scary, especially in that house. But like, just being outside in the elements with mm-hmm. all the fucking clouds around me—that that was fucking scary. But yeah, yeah still, still scary in your situation. Glad you're still here, Nick. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, and if if you ever do get struck by lightning, maybe you'll turn into some sort of super Nick. So, dude, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Like, what, what if you could have any superpower? What would it be? If you got struck by lightning and you could have any superpower, what would it be? That's mm-hmm. amazing that it happens that way. <sighs> it's ex- that's exactly how it happens. How did Spider-Man <laughs> become Spider-Man? He, he got struck, struck by, by lightning. lightning but... <laughs> Science. <laughs> <laughs> he got uh, he got struck by a lightning spider. So yeah, that's Makes my story. Sense. I don't know. Spider shot a lightning bolt out of its fucking fangs. Obviously. Um. Uh, Lane, you can go first if you got one. I really, I'm like torn between like three. I've always been torn between two. Whenever I've answered to this question, I've never answered and, this question. I don't know my answer. And both of them have kind of the same goal in mind. My, I guess my number one would be to be able to freeze everything around me, but still be able to walk around myself. That's my number one goal. Yo, because I. Yeah, I think you can accomplish anything with that. If I can walk around with time frozen around me, and play as much guitar as I want, and come back a guitar master at the end of the shit, like, why wouldn't I? Right? You could do so many things by freezing everyone around you and continuing on. You could accomplish whatever you wanted throughout life, pretty much. And that's kind of my goal. The other one that I'm always torn between is invisibility, because there's a lot of cool shit you could do with invisibility. But I guess. If you freeze time, that kind of covers invisibility. Like if you're frozen, yeah. they're not gonna fucking see you. Whatever, you're good. Yeah, I was I was gonna go with invisibility, but I'm going with freeze time. You're you got <laughs> something. Go- yeah, yeah, that's 100 percent without a doubt. That is yes, I'm down. Yeah, with that. I think there's just so many things you can do. You can get whatever you want. You can become as good at things as you want. You can spend your time how you want. You don't gotta deal with fucking people. So it's like fucking freeze. Done. And go back to your video games. Like, I'll come back to you later. I don't know. There's just so many valid use cases. You can do anything for this you want, right? Ever, for the rest of your mm-hmm. life. But if you freeze time, would you die? Like, does <clears throat> that does that time still count? 
See, in my head it doesn't, but it probably should, right? Or, or else that superpower is OP, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, I'm 13, bro. I don't want to ever be 14. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, dude! Nick, what's your answer? Yeah, freezing time would be great. Uh, all right, so I'm—I'll just tell you what I'm torn between because I haven't made a decision yet. I'm torn between invisibility because I like to fuck with people, it, like that's just the best trolling you're superpower. Invisible and pants someone. I, like, dude, that's that, the thing—you like... can freeze the time, pants them, then unfreeze the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's just yeah, quality. Yeah. But it's better to see the reaction in live time, isn't it? I mean, yeah, but you pants them, then you, like, unfreeze time, and then you see, like, what the fuck, you know? Like, <laughs> his, his pants are just They're off. Like, just, you got to think about it in real time from him. His, like, he's, like, one second his pants are there, and the next second they're just off. Like, they're just off. He doesn't know how they're off, but they're off. <laughs> I awesome. like invisibility a lot because I'm a huge fan of Harry Potter, and the invisibility cloak is one of the coolest things that I've ever seen in any movie, so... I don't know. I would go invisibility or either super speed thing. or teleportation. Like those are kind of the same thing if you think about it. See, but freezing time is teleportation too because you just free time, go somewhere, and you've unfrozen time. You teleported to everyone else. You didn't teleport though. No. I guess. That's no. Fair. You no. didn't. Yeah, you yourself teleporting is different than that though. Yeah, I mean like instant teleportation to where, yeah. I, yo, can you be here? Yeah, yeah, I'm there. Uh, hey, what's up? You know, yes, like, like ninety nine magic, basically. <laughs> That's what we're going for. Ninety nine magic. I already you got just grab some runes out of the bank, and you can go wherever <laughs> the fuck you want. You know what? Better yet, we'll just do lodestones. All right. So uh, <laughs> no, don't ever bring up lodestones. <laughs> you gotta draw a fucking circle around you. You gotta wait. You gotta say an incantation, bro. Like, nah. That's cool. That's the cool part. You know, people are like, "What the fuck? What is he Where doing?" Or you could just fucking blink in your. Blink and you're up here. Or you're, I'm down there. Whatever. Yeah, but like at the same time, if you blink, people would just be like, like, like he just he's blinked and disappeared. You know, the people around. Oh, no, like you got you got to be slick about it. Yo, I gotta go to the bathroom. Real nah, quick. I'd much rather people like <laughs> look at me, right, and be like, why is he sitting with his legs crossed and why is the wind just spinning <laughs> in a circle around him? And then he, and then I disappear slowly. You know, like <laughs> just fade away. Slowly fading away. <laughs> I want I want those reactions while I'm reading like, some crazy ass movies. book, like chanting some bullshit. Like I don't know, man. That's that's how I want to teleport. <laughs> Dude, you just do that IRL, like you spawn literature right in front of you at your whim, and then you teleport off to fucking Barack or <laughs> fucking New York, bro. That's that's Barack. Right, right. New York, brother. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would, I would definitely, I would have to go with the freezing time though, man. I think that's, I think that's the way yeah. to go, cause like you could do anything. That's always you could a good... Fly a plane. I mean, flying would be cool, but you could take a plane, right? And if the mm -hmm. plane ever like starts, to, if Dude. the plane's about to crash or something, you just freeze time right before it crashes. And so get off your the plane. plane comment just reminded me. I found a weird place of YouTube that honestly is quite interesting, and that is people who use Microsoft Flight Simulator, which is like beautiful realistic flight simulator to simulate real life plane crashes like almost all plane crashes you know of have like a transcript that was kept of all the pilots convo mm -hmm. and like have a full like detailed investigation into what happened and almost all of it's public so anybody can just look this up they recreate these events in like painstaking like chronological order That's and and it's actually pretty interesting as fuck to see like where it all went wrong, how different flights crashed and shit. Fucked up weird part of YouTube. It's really it's weird, yeah. Cool. It's kinda like, oh people died, let's figure out exactly how it happened. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it doesn't happen again, right? So yeah, yeah, I, I mean I get it, you know. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> but it was it's actually captivating if you if you give it a sec. I'm I, not I even will look it up tonight. Dude, it's worth it. I'm just and saying. come back to you next week with my answer on how I feel about this. That's my mic. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you just got attacked. Like, did you guys ever see that gif of it was somewhere in like Japan or Asia or somewhere where there's this dude with a dash cam on just driving down some highway bridge and all of a sudden a fucking plane comes in, wing takes out yeah. the fucking bridge. Yeah, it was a couple like, years crap. ago, right? 
Yeah. Like all over the news. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I remember that. Holy shit. I want a recreation of that. I, I've not I thought you were that. gonna say they did a recreation of that. <laughs> and they should. You me. I was Microsoft like getting like excited. Like I was like, yes, I know this one. I know this one. <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> they probably did. I'll have to look it up. I haven't checked. Yeah, I remember that. That's that's, that's that one was fucked up. Yeah, that's insanity, dude. Right. That, that's absolutely insane. I don't know. I I'll look it up. I'll look it up. Tell you tell you what I think next week. I know you're into that kind of stuff. It's cool. I, I'd, I'd be down. I'd be down. Um, I do want to ask something really quickly. What's up? Really quick. Have you guys, like, have either of you guys, like, watched anything, you know, any of the content that's gone up on the Crazy Channel? Not over the past few days, dude. Side yeah, not... single file line. <clears throat> I want to watch the, uh, I want to watch episode two of the draw series that uh, Loco that's... does, because that's dope. We yeah. got... We're we... going business, right? Yeah, we uploaded, um, so it's basically been all single file line, um, the past couple weeks, mm-hmm. but we did, um, the Curzy Draws episode, uh, and we did Hostage, um, but I want to get more, man. I saw Hostage. You saw Hostage? Yeah. Yeah, Hostage, what did you think about Hostage? Coming, pretty you're an good. editor. What, what do you... It was all in all pretty good, uh, it was a solid pretty good. Um, well edited, pretty good clips. It was a solid, pretty good. I, I could dig it. Yeah, I like the music a lot. Um, editing was really good. I like the idea behind it. I thought there was a couple moments where the red flashing was a little distracting. Um, but past that, it was a really, really cleanly edited montage as far as syncing and music goes, and relatively well done. Yeah, um, I'm glad I got red to do it, but. Uh, we had some other dude that was supposed to do it, and it was supposed to be done in, like, fucking February or January. It was supposed to be done in January. Like, like it. those are old clips, dude. Like, it's fucked. Um, and then some clips got lost, so he, like, did it, and then it was too short, so we had to send him more clips or something like that. So it just took way too damn long. But, uh, but it's out. I want to do more stuff, though. Um, it's, like, I want to do, like, a montage or something, like, you know, once a month, whether it's a team tage or it's like a single montage or something or a dual tage or something like that, just something simple. Mm-hmm. Um, but I also want to do more stuff like the like the draws and everything yeah. and get more people. Yeah. Uh, I want to do more like team-based stuff too, you know, where it's um, kind of well edited. It's everybody. You can get this perspective from like everybody doing something. So like we're playing Fortnite squads or something, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, you get everybody's recording. That'd be you good. Have, you have everybody's perspective. <laughs> Um, Yo, Kersey vlogs when I come down to Florida. <laughs> vlogs when you come down to Florida? Dude, vlog. Yeah. I'll, I will let you Yo, vlog. I got an idea. What's I can't idea? vlog so, daily, but I would for a week or something. Dakota, you've been playing GeoGuessr a lot on your channel this year. Yes, um, I haven't and played I'm GeoGuessr not... since my god game, but yes. Your god game? Yeah, that was godly. But no, um, we could either do something with GeoGuessr where like two to four of us are all playing and we like have all of our things on the screen at the same time. Mm-hmm. Or we could do something similar to that. Like, isn't there something like Google Feud and shit like that? Google we could Feud do like is one. We could yes. do Mad Libs. Mad Libs oh, I'm down for Mad Libs. Huh? <laughs> yeah, like, I found this site. Cards like Against Humanity. We need to do yeah. something. Kersey, yeah, Cards Against easy. Humanity. Like, oh, yeah. We need to do something. We, de- we can do that. Like, why haven't hey, we done that? Easy. I don't know. Honestly, yeah, let's that would be let, dope, let's get those going. Like you two, yeah. we can get some some Matthew in here. We can yeah. get Jenna. Um, yeah, we we can get everybody, dude. Fuck it, like bring in Monkey, bring in Sync, bring in everyone, man. Bring them all in. I just have a giant game of Cards Against Humanity. And Shut up, Big German, Big Wes. <laughs> I just bring them all in, man. Wyatt, Nathan, bring get everybody. everybody. In. Bring everybody. I'm I'm down for some Cards Against Humanity. Just like little games like that, I'm down for. But yeah. as long as it's like, you know, the team. Mm-hmm. As yeah, long as sure. as yeah. long as it's like us, it's it's got to be a, a good little group of us. Percy plays. I yeah. need a good Jenna stream. I'm gonna go post in her Discord right now. Yo, what? Um, we need to find some like co-op like campaign type games. We could Yo. do just like playthroughs of shit. Modern Warfare Two, Spec Ops. <laughs> <Co-op. laughs> Spec Ops like was back the in shit. the day, Spec Ops. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, imagine. Do you remember I don't that have Xbox Live, so I can do that. Dude, but if they actually release like a remastered MW2 with Spec Ops, 
Ooh. Oh, here's a topic. Are we ever going to fucking finish Portal? Ah, uh, Portal. <laughs> so the, the thing with Portal is I have about an hour or two of footage left. Are you ever going to edit the fucking Portal? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, I have like two hours of footage from like almost a year ago or whenever we did that. Um, Lane, are you ever gonna find the clips to the illusion? Yeah, hey, hey, for real Nick, though. I need Almost like, eight years ago, yeah. but uh, um, but we still haven't even finished the game, and I still have footage that I haven't released. But it's just such old footage, and we're drunk, weren't we? I think I think we were still drunk in the footage that I have. We're doing I. Think, I think it was from <laughs> that night. We did perfectly fine. I think we played the game better drunk, but Probably. like, <laughs> but we we. I mean, I don't know, man. I might I might edit it together, and then you maybe, should maybe it's we'll so finish should. it. Daily, keep the daily video on a day you don't want to do a video. You know, you have portal shit. What uh, what I do want to say is that you should try to beat me in Geometry Wars, but it's never gonna happen. I should. <laughs> Lane, you look like you're about to get so mad there, and then you're like, <laughs> yeah. Did, you, I did you see my video? Of you actually getting it? Yeah. No. I posted the video. 458 I'm a terrible mil. Dakota fan. Sorry. Dude, 458 <laughs> mil pacifism run on the original pacifism or the 361 right yeah, yeah. um squared yeah 458 mil at the end I zoomed in on the screen this was a triumph <laughs> yes i kept it up i did it <laughs> lane's you're, getting on right now <laughs> you're, you're never you're never gonna beat it bro you're never gonna beat it you couldn't even beat the high score before that Ooh. he couldn't dude he was stuck Ooh. at like 272 mil or something like that sitting at like 390 yes. And I top it. Yo, I got a challenge for somebody. Do any of you guys know how to solve Sudoku puzzles? I don't do. I don't do them now. I'm not good or anything. Okay, I was gonna say if it, either of you guys did know, I challenged anyone to beat my time, my best time on my app that I have to beat a Sudoku puzzle or solve one is 46 seconds. I don't so, know. I, if Anyone I'm on my there? phone and I'm I need some game to pass the time sorry. while I'm like waiting at a doctor's office or some shit, it's solitaire. That, okay, okay. That's yeah. that's Yo, like, I used to do solitaire a lot when I was younger. You want to beat my three by three Ruby's cube time of four fourteen point eight seconds? See, that's never gonna happen unless I really dedicate like two months of my life at least. Dude, you gotta learn the F two L. I like I know like one step of the F two L. Like I've. I don't know none of it, man. I still rely on the beginner's method. My best When's time's under time a minute. Saw, I'm happy with that. What's up, Lynn? When's the last time you saw? Um, probably a week ago. Fair enough. I'll probably, take it. probably a week ago. I, my best time. I had a couple forty-second times. I learned nothing but the but the first uh, the first. And if you get quick, you're good to go. Um, you can get down to about forty. I think I think forty point four two was the best one. Then I had like a forty-two second one as well. Yeah. Um. But that that was the best time, I think. That's about where you start like capping out with that kind of method. You can't do much better than that. I don't. I can't do that anymore. Hundred percent. Yeah. That was when I was like doing it every day. Um, but I there's no way in hell I can do that right now. It might. It, I can solve it. It might take me a minute, but I can solve it. I don't know, man. I don't know, but I don't think I'm ever gonna beat your your 15 second. I'm I'm not even gonna try. Cause, uh, I didn't solve in a while either. I mean, I guess I solved today at work, but like, I don't. I used to sit here and actively like fuck with a Rubik's cube for thirty minutes or an hour at a time. I don't do that anymore. Yeah, I, uh, I I stopped quite a bit, but I want to make sure I can still do it. I can still solve it because that's all I give a fuck about is being able to solve mm -hmm. it in the first place. Mm -hmm. Are you actually about to play some Geometry Wars? <laughs> He's gonna beat the oh. score tonight. Yo, can you tell me something though? Because I don't know if it recorded the score. I actually don't know if it recorded the score because when I got off, it said, or when I did the score, it said um, that I that I was offline, off of Xbox Live, and then I was playing like alone. So I don't know if it actually recorded the score. Um, either way, I post the video. I have proof. I did it on stream, um, but I still like even my old high score still beat you. <laughs> so, I mean. But I got the video and I did it on stream, bro. It's there. Like it's it's there. Three nine two. God nine, fucking one. damn it. Four five <laughs> eight six, is five. is the new record, bro. Watch me beat it right here. You gotta beat four five eight, man. You're not. You're not. You're, you're, there's no way. There's no way. So what I say you should do is make some videos on, on some geometry words. You should record your geometry words experiences, Lane. 
You, you're yeah. already fucked, man. Yeah. <laughs> You've already yeah. fucked yourself. There's, there's, there's no way. There's no way. If he does it right here, there's no. He's not ever gonna do it, man. He's not even gonna <laughs> hit 200 mil ever again. So. Ooh. It don't matter, bro. It just don't matter. Holy shit. The fireworks yeah. are so distracting on Skype. Yeah, they're 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 a bit bright. We'll we'll keep it at this game, Lane. <laughs> but we'll see what we'll see what you can do. We'll give you one uh, shot. Yeah, you suck, bro. <laughs> what is that? I, I, three million. Yeah, three so, million. Yeah, bad. Yeah, yep. Yeah, you're you're about four hundred fifty-five million off. Uh, <laughs> spite, but I, yeah. I, I, it would have been dope if I had beat it there. Though. That would have been it's just insane. Right? <laughs> that would have been great content. <laughs> it, it would have been, but it's not going to happen, so I'm sorry, man. I don't think it's ever going to happen. I don't think it's ever ever going to happen, bro. I'll try, but I won't succeed more than likely. I get so nervous. Like, once you hit 100 mil, I poop my pants, and it's all over, right? I got to go change my pants. And who can focus on Geometry Wars when there's shit in your pants? Like, I can all right, because I I'm just used to it. You know, I sit in my shit all day long. I'm gonna go change and wipe, maybe take a shower or something nah. after it. <laughs> if you shit your pants, you have to take a shower. That's a fucking long. Nah, ride. <laughs> nah, <laughs> not how always. I feel after I play Geometry Wars, <laughs> like that level. Dog. You don't. Know, you don't always <laughs> have to take a shower. <laughs> no, yeah. you have to. You got the only exception how, how is little children. How much experience do you children. have in shitting your pants? <laughs> Once. <laughs> Once. Uh, as yes. a kid or as an adult? As in, in the last year. Ah, that's <laughs> an adult. I've more than once in my life. I'm not afraid to admit. Like, I think all of us have been there with, like, you have a little more runny diarrhea than you thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, just yeah, yeah. I mean, there's that, there's that. But there. has there ever just been, like, I thought it was a fart? Like, as... Yeah. As, <laughs> I mean, it was runny diarrhea. Yeah. I mean, so yeah, like, but, like, not like that. Have you ever just I've dropped a straight log in your pants? I've never had a giant turd come out of my pants. <laughs> no. It's um, never happened. Every time it's happened to me, and it hasn't happened that much, but, like, I'm making it sound Wait, a lot every more time it's, it's just it's just a log? Ooh, like, no, no every time it's, like, like diarrhea. Out? Oh, it's always diarrhea. No, I've never had, like, a straight... Just like, a fucking log in your pants. Dude, I mean... You have to try to shit your pants to do that, dude. I mean, what if it's just like a little ball, you know? like <laughs> Those are usually the hardest to force out anyway. Dude, honestly, they kind of are. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, it's like got some corn in it or some shit. I don't know. We should... <laughs> Way too detailed. <laughs> Right, Usually maybe, I'm the one that takes shit too far. Yeah, maybe we should wrap that up. <laughs> <laughs> wrap the shit. Into our shit talk, I like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, is there anything else you wanted to touch on tonight, Nick? This week at all? How have your bowels been this week, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> While we're on the subject. Yeah. Fuck it. Pretty pretty regular. I I usually take. <laughs> 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 you know, I, sometimes I'll take two shits in a day. Sometimes I'll just take my nightly shit. You never you know. know. It's like a coin toss, you know? Mm -hmm. like, See, the one thing I don't understand is how people take morning shits. Ah, oh, dude. Okay. Every morning. Yeah. I cannot shit in the morning. Why not? I don't already. Probably because I go at night. I don't know. I force myself, <laughs> dude, because... I think it's when I yeah. eat. No, no, no. I Hear me out. I force myself in the morning, maybe not on weekends... But but on weekdays because I'm at work and I know yeah. if I have to take a shit then I have to just sit in my car for a half hour without getting paid. Yeah. So I want to get it all out when I get there, you know. True. True. <laughs> so if I have to take a quick break because there's a two minute window, I only have to piss. You know, I don't ever want to have to shit because that might take more than two minutes. I don't for know what to tell you, Nick. In the morning, I wake up. My stomach goes grumble, grumble, and I take a shit. Yeah, it's sometimes I have to wake up. Morning. Like, I can't go back to sleep because of it, you know? Yeah, same. And then I get up, and I do it, and I'm like, well, I'm up now, it's so. It's like I'm ready. Yeah, like, let's just let's just get the day started. I'm up 15 minutes early. I'll go get some Burger King. Like, I don't know. <laughs> and then shit again. And then up. shit again. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all two are the only two people I can go this in depth with on shit talk. So <laughs> no, I love to talk shit, you know. Like, it's, I uh, dude, I mean, you are famous for taking four hour shits. So. This is true. 
And that's an inside joke. That's not a true fact. I'm about to put it on a shirt, so it'll be a fact pretty soon. I would buy that shirt. Nick That'd be repeat apparel. <laughs> apparel. <laughs> <laughs> Coming what? soon to a merch. <laughs> Oh I mean, dude, let's 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 get some designs going. Let's talk about it. Nick, Nick already Nick shits on the front and on the back four hours. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta throw like one of those old-fashioned uh, hourglasses. Yeah. <laughs> ah, like four of yes, them. yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Yes. Where's business, dude? Where where? <laughs> <laughs> we need to get some shit cooked up, bro. Make some shirts, man. Make some shirts for sure. Some Nick shit, sh- Nick shit shirts. Nick shit shirts. Yep. Dude, I'd buy one. Dude, that's why we're taking this. Wasn't this part of the reason why we're this late tonight? Is the Nick shit? No. Yeah, I mean, it was like a. I shot shit. before you even got home, bro. This is true. I apologize. How long? And I was it? only gone for ten minutes. Thank you very much. <laughs> sure. I listened to both of your guys' songs again, and I was out. <laughs> of the bathroom. I'm proud <laughs> of you, Nick. To clarify. Yeah. You're getting better. Yeah, man. Shit. It was never a problem except one time. <laughs> Dude, it, it, it's always been a problem. Back in the Aww. day, it was a problem, you know? Aww. When you say I had to See, go what take had a happened shit, was, then we had to kick you from the lobby. I would go to take lobby. a shit, and then I would get sidetracked, and then I would go play basketball for three hours or no, something. No, dude, because you were always like, I'll be right back, I gotta take a shit, and then we'd have to kick you from the lobby because somebody yeah. wasn't playing and we needed another player, you know? like, yeah. And we were getting fucked because it was always in ranked play or something, you asshole. <sighs> <laughs> like bo2 type shit like bo2 bo3 too we played we but mostly bo2 we played a lot of league play in bo2 yeah that was we played game battles in bo3 didn't we more than anything Barely. not well but then we did we play ranked play not with me i don't think i was a big part of that dude yeah yeah you were we played we played a bunch of sh- maybe it was just search but i don't know we played a bunch your of teams sh- didn't have anything on my modern warfare 2 competitive team that i left for kersey motherfuckers what was Man. the record oh and a lot <laughs> dude um, i i remember when wyatt got kicked because he couldn't stay in the lobbies he always left the games <laughs> oh yeah from rage was... <laughs> i mean that's just like <laughs> That like, deserves a kick. I'd still kick him today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We had a we had a pretty big team. Uh, do you remember your team though? Who you? They're bad. We were all bad. I was even bad. Do you, do you like remember who it was though? Who all it was? No. On your team? No. <laughs> no. I don't even remember, remember Wyatt's my team. Kersey Come on, name. Lane. Come on, Lane. Team. What was I Wyatt's Kersey name? Uh, toxic, or something. I don't remember any of these things. Toxic, yeah. Maybe it was. I remember there was a toxic though. That sounds sure right. Um, you had ghosts. Crazy X ghost. That was Luke. Um, yeah. Spunkler wasn't Spunkler on your team. I remember Spunkler. I think he was on the team. Yeah. Was Encore a sniper or was he on? I think he was a sniper. Encore. Sniper. I remember that name, but I don't remember Encore. You know himself. But yeah, I remember I, I him. Like I remember, I remember him being Kersey X Encore. Dude, we didn't have a team. We were like rolling deep. Yeah, guess. yeah, yeah. We had a lot. We had like twenty something members at at least, <laughs> dude. Maybe more at one point. Like yeah. we had a lot. I miss trauma probably. Still lives out today. Of, yeah, trauma is cool. Out of out of everyone. Yeah, it's small team now, but. Yeah, cool, shout out man. to John Gary. I miss John Gary. John Gary is still he's still got the gamer tag. He's not yeah. Crazy Monster he, anymore. He's Crazy Shatter. Yep. But um he's still shout got out the gamer to, tag. Uh, <laughs> what do we call him? The chubby twelve year old Eminem. <laughs> Which one was that? You know what I'm talking about. The video on uh shipment where he's Oh oh, rapids, oh John uh, Gary? Yeah, yeah, oh, Lose yeah, Yourself yeah, yeah. was it? Um yeah. I remember that song. That video is legendary. It was Lose Yourself. That yeah, wasn't did, it? Right? Yeah. This week, arms are heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Lose Yourself while Finest was beatboxing. Yeah. Yeah. And then Finest there was somebody else best. in there that was really annoying, I remember, but I can't remember. Didn't we hit Finest up a couple of months ago? And he was like, oh, yeah, I'll be on or something. Da, da, da. And he then we came never on heard... and um, watched Tears 2 when Tears 2 came out and then just disappeared again. Yeah. I've seen him online in the Discord. I've seen him online. I've seen him playing Counter Strike. Um, I see it. Yeah. Finest, you bitch. You <laughs> but, need to um, join. But Once I remember he joined the Discord finest. and was like, he watched Tears 2 when it came out. I remember him talking about it. And then he dipped. And I uh, haven't heard from him. Do we need Finest on here as a guest one night? 
Yeah, it would yeah. be perfect, dude. That would be a perfect box for us. <laughs> we we we'll hit him up. We'll hit him up again. All right. If anybody's unfamiliar with Finest, you can look up. Uh, just go on Lane's channel. Finest is a beast. Yes. Um, you know there was even this like any video with Finest in it ever. Um, yeah. Was, me, wasn't me there a video you did an edit for Finest, and I believe the title is "I like cocks in my mouth" or something like that. Yo, that's unlisted. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, can we talk about how he said he never hits plus 20s and then he, five seconds later that was a quality i miss him for shit like that you know he's like i never i don't know why i'm using acog and never hit plus 20s or anything like that as he hits a plus 20 dude his commentaries were a1 he didn't do that many but they were fucking funny they were. he was a funny guy he's he a funny guy to talk to yeah we did a zombies video together and that finest is a beast is pretty much the place to start on finest yeah i mean in in this it was, dude, it was us three and Finest in the call. Yeah, and we were that just, night. what were we doing? Just hanging we out? We were playing RuneScape. You we and were. me were, I think. I don't know if Nick was. Sounds right. Nick I probably was. We were was. just hanging out, more or less, though. Yeah, yeah, I remember I was sitting on my futon. I remember that. I don't know why, but I remember that. In my in my old futon, in my room, in my old home. And, blue uh, one? Yeah, the blue one, yes. Yes! Good job. Yeah. I now have this black one, but... Um, <laughs> yeah that nothing but junk ever sits on dude look at it <laughs> what have i been doing with my life i mean you can see the like pillows right there but you asked what i've been doing with with my <laughs> spare time shit. oh yeah. have you been unpacking finally dude i finally <laughs> have unpacked there's still a box like right there um okay. i am i need to get rid of the chair that's over there because i have a recliner <laughs> for some reason uh, i have a bean oh, bag shit. but i'm gonna keep it i have some springs over there mm -hmm. that i need to do something with and, uh, <laughs> but, uh, cause I have like a box that's like that big, just has fucking Mustang springs in it, but, um, like stock <laughs> springs. And I don't, I don't know why they're in my room, but they are. Um, yeah. So, in case you need some springs. In case I need some stock springs from a 2010 V6 Mustang that I don't own. Anyway. How much do the, is that zilch zero value? Dude, I mean, who do you think really is going to buy some OEM springs from a 2010 V6 Mustang? Somebody who has a 2010 V6 Mustang. And but, but like, how often do you need to replace the springs, you know? like <laughs> Once and never. Exactly. Like, I mean, I don't know. I don't think I can. I don't know. Someone might have a 140, 160,000 mile Mustang and they're trying to <laughs> replace suspension. Then, then go with something else and not the stock springs <laughs> <laughs> that were driven on for years. They're used. I <laughs> Yeah. Cause I mean, when I bought the car, the car was used. It was two years old, but um, and I I drove it around for a little while before I changed the springs. But yeah, I need to get that out. Yeah. But there's like that I've unpacked like, uh, pretty much everything. Um, Dude, good for you. That's and, awesome. Uh, Cause Lane, I kind of like came to the realization if you're actually coming to Florida and you actually need a place to sleep, bro, um, now the couch is open because it wasn't before. <laughs> That's all I need. <laughs> it really so wasn't before. And like it really wasn't. <laughs> um if you you can Dude, see this stuff right here, that's all like blanket. It would have been stuff. step one. Had I gotten there, I would have gotten shit done. Like I would have made myself a fucking place to sit and sleep and it would have gotten done. But still I, mean, I appreciate share the bed, it. Dude, honestly, let's be real. But <laughs> no. That's still fun though. And we're gonna be vlogging the whole way. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see you vlog, dude. I want to see you vlog. I'm gonna take dude, you to do special things. Up, but I probably could. I would. I can't vlog daily, but I would vlog for a week while I was down there. Fuck but it. I don't know what we would do here because this is a boring ass place. So we're probably just gonna sit around and play video games. Um, yeah, play video games, dude. We need to race our cars. Just one quick drag strip. Uh, there's somewhere. a drag strip here in town. Yes. Yeah. Yo, I don't even. We can just go to Mexico real quick. <laughs> uh, go to Mexico. Yeah, I'm close enough to Mexico, bro. Yeah, we'll just dip right over to Mexico. Take a Lane, quick wouldn't that make more sense if we went to Texas? <laughs> you don't get. The, yeah. To... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't. Get, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sure. I don't Geology. know. Fuck it. <laughs> Whatever. I do want to. I do want to do a quick pull with you, and I don't know. I'm, I would fuck around in Florida. There, we'll find shit. To Will do. you get in my car with me though, driving? Yeah, I'll get in your car with you. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> introduce Lane to the snake. I forgot his name. What's up? You gotta introduce Lane to the snake in your yard. Ah, uh, Elvis. Elvis. I can't yeah. remember his name too. 
Elvis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Elvis yeah. is dope. He's about a four foot more. black snake. Um, What's up, dude? Yeah, yeah. He's he's getting bigger. He wasn't always four foot, obviously. Um, <laughs> <laughs> dude, we could go fish or something. I'd be down to go. Fish. Let's go fishing, bro. I'll take. You. I know I plenty of bass spots. We can catch us some like nice ass bass. I don't even like fishing. I don't know the first fucking thing about fishing. But right. Fishing. Well, you're gonna love fishing when you hook a five pound bass. I promise. <laughs> like I pro. The second you hook a big one, it you're it's. T- mm. Lane, if you want to see the epitome of fishing, go to my Instagram from a few years ago when I went fishing with Dakota. And Where did I just we go? Did we go to Westchester? Uh, something like that. Because here's we the went thing. To a few You're not places. allowed to fish in Westchester anymore. Um, mm-hmm. I thought we weren't supposed to anyway. Ah, uh, probably not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but the thing about Westchester is they had just stocked those ponds. So it was just like you're pulling bass out every day two minutes you know you're just yeah, you're yeah. catching something constantly and that's what was fun about those ponds but at the same time they weren't even, they were like half pound basses i got yeah, really was... lucky the first fish i ever caught when i first fished there was a seven pound bass um Damn. so there were some big ones like there was a five pound in there and there was a four pounder but you know there were like hundreds of like little half pound and pound bass that you just caught constantly yeah. um but i i fish uh at another pond that um there i mean the, like i there's a solid like good there's a good amount of at least two pound bass in there there's eight pounders that we've caught in there um Mm -hmm. i have a buddy that caught an 11 pound bass in there and that's stupid but the second you hook anything over two pounds uh, on a large mouth the second you hook anything for your first time is fucking lit yeah i've (laughs) I've fishing before like as a kid and i've hooked fish and i've reeled in fish but it's probably a single digit amount and i haven't done it in eight or ten years so so. well the thing is like the bass like i like bass fishing just because of the fight you know there's plenty of different fish <laughs> that you can uh that you can fish for obviously yeah. um but they all they're all different dude they're all they're like the way it feels and the way they fight back like it, it's all different and yeah. bass are always a really good fight um and the second you get a two pound bass two pound isn't that big and it fights super super well, <laughs> yeah, it does. so when you hook a 10 pound bass it it's like oh shit bites yeah like mm-hmm. i hooked a i hooked a nine pound one time and um yeah, my friend sean was like down the road he had just left bro and i hooked it and i fucking yelled at him i was like sean come back this is fucking huge i could just feel it dude and um well what it was was i hooked a smaller one it was in westchester i hooked a smaller one and uh... a nine pounder came up and fucking ate it and <laughs> and i hooked that thing and i was like all right like i was like on it dude and i was yelling at sean some like because it's in a neighborhood some lady comes out of her house dude and she's like what's going on and i was like i don't know yet <laughs> she's yelling across the pond there and i pull it out and she sees it she goes holy shit <laughs> and then she goes and gets her husband like look at what this kid caught like holy shit i went to um i went to this different neighborhood one time and uh, it was actually like it was one of the first times that I fished in the pond, and I f- just got there and I caught the biggest bass that I've ever. It was nine pounds twelve ounces. That's the biggest bass I've ever caught in my life in a neighborhood pond. And um, the lady came. One lady came out of her house, took a picture of me, and then she put it on her fucking fence, like a, a picture of me just lipping the bass on her fence, and was like, "Beat this." <laughs> and like it had a caption that said beat this and like i don't know if people still fish there i haven't gone there in a little while because some lady threatened to call the cops because i that her dog was barking at me and i was disturbing the peace or some bullshit so i have to go park somewhere else because she sees uh, like what i don't know man people are people people, people are, are people, people. But, um, but yeah, I'm definitely still planning to do that. Like May 10th is my graduation, which is actually a Thursday. It was a little earlier than I thought. So I'll probably come down there that weekend or, or so, and we can do it up big. Let's go How fishing. How are you staying down there, Lane? Uh, five days or so. Oh, come week. On. Then go later, because <laughs> I'm trying to go down too at some point. How, how, how much later? Because my I birthday is on the 20th. Yeah. I kind of want to see Jenna, too, just to piss off John real bad. Sorry, I probably shouldn't have said that. Yo! Whatever, fuck it. <laughs> just take a Snapchat and send it to him, you know? Yo, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah. Whatever. That'd just be hilarious. Off, but I do want to meet uh, Jenna, Matt, and you, Nick. Like, those are my three people that are elsewhere, and, like, I have to time it, and I... Yeah. It's, it's good to meet I'm here, always. What's up? What's going on? I mean, Powell's yeah, here so- always, too, man. 
He lives. He lives. We live on the same road, technically. Yeah, just I'm a few sure miles people apart. Around, but I know. Yeah. <laughs> the other side of. Yeah, yeah, I live on one side of town. He lives on the other. But it, you can just turn out of my neighborhood and go straight down the road, and you'll get to. And fuck that road. Yeah, fuck that road. I agree. But um, I'm sure there's people I can meet. I'm sure there's things we can find to do for you know mm-hmm. five to seven days, and you know I'll head on back. I think it'll be a fun trip. I think it's worth it. Come You're down driving, here. right? Yeah, that's the plan. It's it's a fucking day's worth of drive where I can get a uh, really cheap hotel and stay overnight somewhere. No, don't be a bitch. Yeah, drive <laughs> it's like through. A, it's a bitch of a drive. It's like waking up at 7 a.m. getting there at like 9 p.m. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're talking to a guy who's done it twice. Like, yeah. it's a 13 and a half hour drive from, from where it's I'm at. 14. I looked it up on Google Maps. Heck, then it, Dude, and you can do that. You can make it 11, bro. Alright. You might have to stop a few more times than I had to because I have really good gas mileage in my car, but you have to stop twice. Twice? Yeah. How much MPG do you get? I only get seventy miles to the gallon, but I have an eighteen gallon tank. Okay, I don't want to do math right now. I have a ten gallon tank, but I get like forty. I have an eighteen miles. gallon tank. I don't know why my you tank get forty five miles to the gallon. On highway going cruise control, I'm pretty sure. That's pretty fun. Somewhere close, dude. Uh, I've never seen a number cruise, like that maybe in four. my life. Maybe forty. I get 23, 24, 25 going highway cruise control on my car. Th- those are the numbers I see. I've never seen a number like 45 in my life. 40 or 39, something nah, like that. Nah, that's fucked up. I'm that's, serious. That's way too fucked up, dude. I can't do that. That's stupid. Shout, I mean, shout out to the Japanese cars. I mean, I will that never, ever, ever buy one. Um, but, but, uh, They're beautiful, dude. The gas mileage yeah, would be nice, but it's I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't go. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Look at the gas mm-hmm. mileage. There's pretty cars, man. Oh, dude, you know, um, uh, I was gonna tell you. Do you watch that dude in blue at all, Lane? I mean, I, I don't watch him as much as I watch. You, know, you remember when he got the Supra? You know, he had the Supra for like a week. Some dude gave him. I'm a Supra. aware of his Supra. Yeah, a red yeah, Supra. Yeah. Dude gave him a red Supra, um, uh, for for a week while he was out of the country. I saw these videos. I don't know if I watched. I passed them. the super today. Um, oh damn! Cool. Yeah, yeah. That's it's dope. Yeah, eight hundred horsepower uh, Supra on slicks, daily driven. I don't think I've ever seen a Supra IRL. There's plenty of Supras here. I'll take you to see some Supras. <laughs> I've seen some Supras in Gainesville. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of Supras. I mean, there's. I mean, they're they're still rare cars, but yeah, I know a few people with Supras. I. I know, like, five people. Yeah, dude, Supers. I'm down. Let's go to a couple car shows and, and whatnot. If yeah. you're here for a week, man, uh, I can get you, like, three to five shows, probably. <laughs> uh, we don't need to be going every single day, but let's go. <laughs> let's do it yeah. up. Well, some shows are on, or some meets are on the on the same night, you know? Yeah. You do some earlier and then the later um, meet, but, or you can just, like, same time, different locations and, like, different cars, yeah, different people. Yeah, I was my my girlfriend was making fun of me because I drove to Louisiana the other the other week and she was like when we get here you're gonna have to wash your car and like I was a little bit like I really want to but now because you're with me when I get down to Florida it's probably the first thing I'll end up doing is, that's like, fine my- <laughs> I, I mean I have a driveway that's where I wash my car or there's also a place um, that's right down <laughs> the street where yeah I mean I wash my car in my driveway dude but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's free. And it's my yeah. car, and I will. I refuse to take my car through those like uh, gas station Don't. drive through. I never Don't. will. Not um, a good idea. The spray car. stalls are pretty good. Um, but yeah, there's one right down the street that's like you do it your own. Um, yeah, and it's really, really, really good. So that yeah. one's if you, I mean it's like seven bucks. So it's really that's not that good. expensive. Reasonable. Yeah, you get like twenty or thirty minutes yeah. for seven bucks. Of like whatever I, you want. I got seven bucks but regardless <laughs> i'll come down here i'll make my uh my car all nice and pretty and we can have some fun yeah you you can't show up to shows or meets with the dirty car super dirty car right unless it's like pollen season then everybody oh no it. it's it's gonna be covered in bugs and shit after a drive but mm. yeah yeah i'm looking forward to it dude and and we'll vlog every step of the way <laughs> be looking forward to it <laughs> Yeah, but uh, that that about wraps it up for me for, for yeah, tonight. Yeah, I think it's a good place. Got it. Yeah. So, uh, any any last any last thoughts? I got a last second shout out, and then I can uh, drop the outro if you guys want. Are oh, you want to do an outro tonight? Yeah. All right. I'm feeling creative, and by creative, I mean I'm probably just gonna say some dumb shit, and then all right, Let's we'll wrap it up. Shit.
All right, so this is paraphrased, but shout out to the dumb bitch in my physics class, Alyssa. <laughs> Got you. She told me to say that. Well, sort of. Okay. Um, so yeah, shout out. And also... That's all I got. And also, that's so all I got. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. There you go. Tune in next week at five o'clock on Saturday. And uh, I think that's when it happens. Is that when we drop Eastern this? Saturdays? I'm pretty sure. Don't quote Don't us. Check yeah. out on Saturday uh, evening. <laughs> just follow follow the Twitter links in the description. We'll tell you when yeah. it's out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> you want you want to do our goodbye? Or do you want to have your own outro? What is this? It's like the deuces, but I'm like being... All right, man. I'm I'm down to say goodbye. Yo, three, two, one. (laughs) Bye. Bye. This is not what it is, only baby scars. We need your love like a boy needs his mother's side. Like a boy needs his mother's